All right, so with that, let's bring on our first guest, Chris Tarbert, to talk about Clearfield earnings tonight. Chris, how you doing? Hey, Ben, how you doing today? Oh, doing awesome. There's so much going on in the market. So Clearfield obviously has gotten clobbered. Uh, let's just cut to the chase. Tell us what you're expecting for earnings. Uh, well, so look, the what we've discussed in the past is they've always said they're going to um, they're going to take the backlog and they're going to reduce it significantly. And so, sort of the the ideology behind that is is that they've ramped up production. So they've got this massive 165 million dollar backlog. Um, Sherry's commented that she expects to ship at least two thirds of it in the next two quarters. So that should provide some sort of floor in terms of revenue booked. Um, I think what we really are looking for in this quarter is what is the bookings for the quarter? Do the bookings remain strong, right? There's been some commentary out there that, um, that some customers say that, that the bookings been soft. This comment came up um, in the Calix call when Ryan Koontz of Needham sort of pressed Calix on is there any softness in the fourth quarter? And both the Calix CEO and chairman of the board said no. We're looking really good. Uh, bookings are strong in the short, medium, and long term. So that's one data point. I don't know where Ryan Koontz from Needham is hearing from that. Maybe he's hearing it from Clearfield. Maybe he's hearing it from other customers. So that's the one sort of cautionary point that I saw. Um, but at least from everything that we see in the macro, everything in the industry still looks very good. There's a lot of awards coming in. Um, I know some people on the board, including uh, Eric Niles, have posted wins that have been coming in that are all clear for customers. So that's the one thing obviously I'd be looking for is bookings. And the second thing I'm also looking for is um, what is their AR balance? I don't know if you've been noticing their financials that their AR has steadily climbed. Now, obviously that's natural with how much you know revenue they've been booking, but they've also been talking about if they get more business from the tier ones, that payment terms may a little, be a little bit longer. So I'm wondering if one of the reasons they did a secondary was to protect themselves in terms of cash on the balance sheet, not only to you know protect themselves from a growing AR balance, but also to take advantage of potential further M&A opportunities like they did with Nestor. Are there going to be other supply chain companies or other opportunities that they sort of go after here if we do end up in a mini to medium recession, you know, depending on, you know, obviously what happens with, with, with Powell and in the, in the interest rates? So um, those are the main two things I'm looking for. Obviously, any uh, commentary on um, the BEAD program and RDOF, are the government dollars coming in? Do they sense any concern about the debt ceiling, et cetera, affecting those? I don't think they will. Um, all of the RDOF and BEAD monies, you know, had huge bipartisan support. So I don't expect anything there, but you never know with, with the marketplace and what they're expecting. Okay, uh, just real quick on EPS. I think the street's at like 96 or 98 cents. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And, and are you still, last time we talked to you, you were, you were expecting like $1.40 or so. Is that still what I, you're I, I still think that they're going to draw down that backlog a lot. Now, obviously, that's part of what the revenue line will entail. And the other revenue line will entail is what came in on the fourth quarter and they could ship during that same quarter. So again, I think there's a good floor on the backlog that they're going to process. They've discussed many times with you and I, they've discussed many times at the Needham conference and on the last quarterly call that they are accelerating how much they're able to ship. So I think there's a good floor in there. I think they'll beat the number. Will they get up to that number? I don't know. It depends on you know how much, how much strength there was in the fourth quarter and how much of the inventory they could do immediately. Okay. We'll see. You know what? We will, probably I'll, I'll touch base with you but we will maybe do a live show from like 4 p.m all the way to 6 p.m to talk about clearfield and all the other big cap earnings so if you're around we'd love to oh, yeah. do like a private zoom with our community then you bet all right awesome chris thanks for your time sure